Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta. And in this video, we are going to solve a front-end interview question from a company called Klarna. It's uh, like an e-commerce or like buy now, play, pay later platform based out of Stockholm, Sweden. It's a unicorn, a very big uh, organization in the Western world. Uh, and if you see their job listing, they have a lot of open roles. Uh, for the front-end domain specifically like full stack JavaScript lead engineer JavaScript and again lead uh, engineer in Stockholm Sweden and they so this organization is one of the uh, few organizations that help you with relocation because this is an on-site opportunity so let's say if you're based out of India or some other country and you want to relocate to countries like Sweden or Germany then these are the organization that can help you uh, and these are the organization you should aim for. Uh, I know a few folks personally who have uh, successfully relocated to Stockholm or Berlin. Uh, in the past, I also had the chance. I was able to clear all the interview and everything. They were sponsoring my visa and everything. But at that time, I had some other uh, priorities. So I did not uh, relocate. But uh, moving to an organization or moving to a country like Sweden, Germany, there are uh, a lot of benefits in terms of, you know, quality of life, in terms of compensation, you get paid on the Western pay scale. So if that interests you, then this video is going to be really good for you. Uh, before starting, I am trying to be more consistent and trying to be more, uh, you know, uh, unique in terms of the content or the questions I'm trying to uh, create on the YouTube channel so if you if you want me to continue then please do like share and subscribe it means a lot it helps me do more so now without wasting any time let's get started. so for the question for today is that we have to implement a credit card masker let's see the requirements here it says that in this question, the candidate needs to implement a function that takes a credit card number and returns the masked version. We'll uh, understand what the masked version means here. So check. Out, let's check out the functional requirement. It says that it should replace all but first and last four digits in the provided sequence. Okay. So let's first check the what is a masked version. Let's check examples. Okay. So we have these uh, like maskify function will take this input and inside we have to replace certain digits with hash okay so like we should see it on you know e-commerce platform that our credit card number is hidden or you know uh, partially shown so basically that redacted version sort of a thing so it says that we should replace all but the first and last four digits in the provided sequence okay should not mask input shorter than six characters. That means if the input val length is less than six, we should return as it is. Should not mask non-numeric characters. Okay, so if there are like a string or a, a, like individual character is a string or a hyphen or something, then we should return as it is. And should not, should return empty string for all other input types apart from string and number. So if the input is like an empty string or maybe like a function null or some invalid value, then we should return as it is. Let's check the syntax. It says maskify and takes a card number. Now card number argument could either be a string or number. And that's the fourth point that if the input is apart from string or number, then we should return an empty string. Okay. And the final return value is the mass version of the card number as a string. Okay, so return type is a string. Let's check out the examples again. So maskify will we are having this uh, card number apart from first and last four digit everything is replaced with a hash. Same here apart from the first and last four and non numeric uh, characters like hyphen we are replacing everything with a hash empty string return empty string. If it's a all string, no numeric value, then return as it is. And if it's an alpha numeric, then apart from first and last four, which is 5P7Y, we are replacing all the numeric digits with a hash. Okay. And we should submit it within 30 minutes. Okay. Sounds good. Let's start implementing. So first we'll take care of the uh, sad flows or what we call guard rails. It is often, uh, you know better to uh, try to early escape your function so it says that should return empty string for all other input types and apart from string and number so we can find the type so input type we can say type of uh, card number 
we can say type of card number here and uh, inside the now we can add a check that if input type is not sorry if in is not a number and input type mm -hmm. input type is not a string then we'll return an empty string okay now this is this take care of our fourth condition and now we'll take care of the second condition which says should not mask input shorter than six characters okay so let's convert our input into a string so that we can apply more methods here so we'll pass card number here and we can find the length cc dot length so if our length is greater or oh sorry less than six then we'll return cc as it is okay now comes the part where we have to replace everything between first and last four digits so for let's find out the first and last four so first would be uh, cc dot slice it's a string method which helps us you know take out a certain substring or certain part of a string so we'll finding out the first character which is 0 comma 1 and we want last four so last four would be cc dot slice minus four if we pass like a negative number it starts slicing from the end so we'll get the last four so let's take an example here to dry run it so we have this so our cc would be this our first would be five because it's we have typecasted it so it would be a string and our last four would be zero six nine four and from 5 to 1 this would be our remaining part now we have to replace everything with a hash so it should be all hashes so now there are multiple ways to do this uh, i'll show you a couple of ways here let's first talk about let's say solution 1 or we can create a variable called masked and inside this we'll create slice so we have to start from the first character till uh, this one one so this would be one from one we can say length minus four and so we'll get from five to one and maybe we can use like a replace in this we can use replace uh, and maybe a regex here because we have to replace all the numeric digits so we can say hyphen so not hyphen we can say a digit and we can pass a g which will replace all the digits all the new numbers and we'll replace it with a hash so now this is our masked version so we can return the first because we have to if we see the final output here it will say the first character last post character and all the replaced value in between so we will have first we'll have masked and here we'll have last four so let's try to dry run before checking our solution let's take a couple of more examples here so our cc here would be this our first would be four and our last four would be these values five six one six and for the remaining one now what we, this is the remaining from uh, 5 to hyphen this is so this is the remaining string so in this remaining string we are doing a regex check where we are replacing all the digits only so that means it will replace hyphen or sorry it will leave hyphen or any other string and replace only the digits so now if i run this see all my test cases are passing let me zoom in show you that wow, we are we were getting this as an input as a string it's passing again we were getting the same string as a number it's passing we are getting uh, the digits of a credit card and maintain the hyphens we are doing that the, the expected output is same should not mask the digits less than six characters so this is less than six 
five uh, five characters we are returning as it is again same the same uh, less than six but uh, input type is a number if you are getting a string then we are returning a string if you are getting an empty string we are returning an empty string and uh, again we this is a alphanumeric one that we were getting this alphanumeric value we are just replacing the we are taking out the first and last four and in the remaining one we are replacing all the numeric values with a hash so this solution the solution works works fine and it is a simple one that we are just extract extracting the first and last four and the, in the remaining one we are using a regex to replace all the numeric values or num numeric characters with a hash so we saw the regex version where we were <coughs> abstracting out the first and last four and then masking the all the in between uh, characters using a regex now what if i want to use a iterative approach that rather than using a regex i'll just loop over and try to find some solution so let me comment out this and let's create this variable again as an empty string now i know i have to iterate from this five to hyphen that means i need a loop so for loop let i equal to one because we want to start with the first character of the string and till length minus four because we want to iterate till hyphen and this would be i plus plus inside this we'll create a variable called current that is going to give us the current value now this current value if we check here then it could either be let's say something called like a 5 which is a string or it could be something like s or something like a hyphen now our algorithm here is that if a number then we need to replace uh, with hash sorry not dollar we need to replace and hash and concatenate else we can concatenate as it is like if it's a 5 then we'll use a hash if it's s or hyphen then we'll use it as it is now how can we do that that we need to know if the current character is a number or is it like a non-numeric value so maybe some we can use something like parse int because uh, if we use parse int to with the current one which is current is basically 5 for now and we use a base of 10 then it is going to give us 5 and if we do the same with a non numeric value like hyphen then it is going to give us nan so this is our check here that if it's a nan then we'll use the current value as it is else we'll use hash so masked we can say parse int not parse in parse int we can say current and with a base of 10 and we know that it needs to be if it's a nan so we can use a utility called is nan and uh, if it's a nan then we'll use the current as it is else we'll use hash now let's run our code and see if we are it's working fine all our test cases are passing see all our test cases are passing again we are using the iterative approach now now it's up to you which approach you want to go ahead with and uh, try to benchmark both now it's like a homework to you benchmark both see which one is faster is uh, uh, regex approach faster or uh, iterative approach faster try to use jsperf and let me know the solution in the comments and once you're done this question is live on devtools tech platform once you're done submit the question you will get the submission link share it on your social platforms let other you know go through your code and see uh, because your brand building matters a lot when you try to share the solution on social media people will uh, you know uh, you, you will be more recognized in the industry that you are able to solve questions and all your solutions will come up all your public submissions will show up here so other folks can go through your code and uh, see how well you have done so this is the end of our video i hope you were able to learn something new today uh, if you see any value then please do like share and subscribe you have a couple of links on the screen if you want to book a session with me solve question with me or talk about your career career plan or maybe a journal chit chat then you can book a top mid session 
uh, if you just want to practice uh, on the platform you can use the practice link it will give you a random question on from the database and you can solve one question for uh, with one question per day and that would be a good start so till next time see you take care bye bye